Would you like to hear the angels sing? Oh! You too will be singing like an angel once you make this craft. All right, so let's get started. Here's a rough layout of our angel. And we're going to start at the bottom of the heavenly gown. So you'll take your two adult hangers and you'll zip tie those together and make sort of a little heart shape with the hooks. Once you have that one set together, then you'll do the other end of the other triangle part of a gown. Then you'll attach both sets in the middle with a zip tie. Once those are together, we'll take the two child sized hangers and we'll attach those to the end of the adult hangers. If you're enjoying this video and like what you see, please hit subscribe and like. It does help us out a lot and if you hit that little bell, you'll get notifications of further videos that we put out. With the child hangers attached, you'll attach the two hooks in the center. Now let's work on those heavenly wings. When you put your wings together, make sure that both hooks point toward the center. Take a zip tie and then put the end together. Now you have two wings made and let's join them together. As you work on this project, you may want to have this video handy as a reference thing. You can play this as you build your project to make sure that all your details are the same. Okay, now let's put these two wings together in the middle. Once you've connected your wings, you can cut off all the excess of the zip ties. Once all that's done, you can take a zip tie and attach the body to the wings. And you'll put the top on there somewhere, but make sure that the side of this gown or the robe is straight. That'll determine your positioning of the body to the wings. And you'll want to do the same to both sides. Make sure the side of the robe is straight and then attach the body to the wings pretty well opposite of the last one you just did. And do that to the bottom of both ends. Then we'll take two embroidery hoops and we'll use one big one for the head and one little one for the halo. Now I'm going to paint these, the head white and the halo yellow, but I'm not going to show you that right now because I'm pretty positive you all know how to paint. So I got these lights at Lowe's. They're a really good set of lights and uh, if you can get some of those this Christmas, I'd really advise that you do. Uh, the count is perfect for this project or the length of it and you get so many different varieties of lighting patterns with it. It comes with a little remote and you get, I don't know, five or six or eight different patterns and you get warm light, cool light. It's really, really a good set. Uh, we don't get any kickbacks from Lowe's on this. We're just telling you that because they're just a great set of lights. But no matter what set of lights you use, make sure that you do a rough layout and sort of zigzag across the robe. That way you won't have any dark spots in it. And don't forget to leave some lights for your head. We haven't put that in yet, so we have to leave some excess to make sure it all fits. And then once you have your rough layout, you can start to zip tie them to the clothes hangers. And do that about every inch or two, probably two inches. Once all the lights are in place, we're going to mesh this thing. So we got this roll of mesh at Michael's. It's 21 inches wide and there's quite a bit on there. We did about three projects with this stuff. Anyways, you start on one side of the robe and start gluing it onto the hangers. When you're gluing on the mesh, make sure that the edges have a lot of glue on them because that'll be a major stress point. And when you're gluing on the inside, just put every dab every couple inches or so. So now we're going to attach the head. We painted that white, the embroidery hoop, and now we're going to zip tie it to the wings on each side as shown. Then trim off the excess. So where are you all from? We like to know where our viewers are coming from. Just leave uh, your location in the comments below. So when you do your rough layout, make sure you have enough lights to cover the wings and the head. Now you can see here, this is our excess that we had left and now we're putting it sort of zigzag into the wings and into the head as well so that we don't have any black spots. And as you can see, I can really motor if I have to. So now as you can see, the 21 inch width almost covered the whole robe, but not quite. So we'll have to patch the corner. So for our project, we used Gorilla Glue. Just in case your angel is outside, the Gorilla Glue works well in any environment. And you'll want to use a lot of glue on the outside because that's a stress point. So just uh, tuck lights in, 
fold it over and glue. And use plenty of glue. Don't be afraid. So just glue down on the solid edge, tuck in your lights, and then fold it over. So this is really quite easy. You don't have to worry about any personal style. Just glue it down, hold it down firmly, because it's all going to turn out just wonderful. Not to worry. Now this project may look hard, but it's really not. It's really quite easy. Any level of crafter can do this thing. It's just uh, time consuming, but other than that, it's well worth the effort. Because in the end, this little angel is going to look so pretty, you're not going to believe it. A lot of the pictures that we have here and video really don't show the beauty of it. It's just amazingly glamorous and pretty and shiny. Just a wonderful little project that anyone, I guarantee that anyone can do this. So now I'm doing the wings with some mesh. Once again, of course, you'll want to use lots of glue in the corners because they are stress points. And I like to lay my mesh right across the whole area if I can, because it makes it a lot easier to work on. You can just sort of stretch, pull it along, glue it, and just work in an orderly fashion toward the center of the wings from the outside in. I've seen other clothes hanger uh, items done, but adding the lights and the mesh really brings it up a whole lot. When you just do the clothes hanger, all you get is a nice outline and it looks great during the day. But then adding the lights, well, now you have something you can see at night. And then adding the mesh, that just brings it up a whole new level. It uh, really sort of uh, pops the light inside, gives a really nice translucent glow to it all. And it looks good in the day or night. Then once you've finished that wing, we'll move on to the head. And we'll do the same thing. Put lots of glue around the head because it's all a stress point here. And then we'll move on to the next wing. So you can say, we'll start at one end, work your way across and pull as you glue too so that you get a nice tight finish and you don't get any puckers of mesh. So the mesh doesn't quite reach all the way across so you'll have to patch the ends of it there but that's not a problem at all. Just sort of put it over top, glue it at the seams and it'll be just fine. Now that all your mesh is in place you'll want to take off the excess but I really advise that you cut slowly and very carefully because it's so easy to cut the lights. And you really don't want to do that now that you're almost finished the project. We have had feedback from other viewers who have cut their lights. And that's definitely not the place you want to be. So now I'll take the embroidery hoop that I painted gold and we're going to put on the halo. So cutting it about in half it works really well actually. Just be careful when you are cutting it to make sure that when you cut it, because it will stress and crack, but you want to make sure that the stress and crack goes away from your halo part and on this one we're going to embellish it with some mirrored strips of ribbon so just put some hot glue onto your halo and then put on a strip of these mirrored ribbon just to give it a little more glow and you'll want to put that mirrored ribbon on both sides actually when the mirror is on the inside of the halo it really adds an extra glow because of the reflection off the lights inside the head now these mirrored ribbons do have a backing on it that you'll have to take off and they are self-adhesive but you will want to use the Gorilla Glue because A it's weatherproof and that backing just will not hold on this halo. And once your mirror is in place you can place it on top of the head like this or you can put it more on the side. Just make sure that there's not a lot of stress on that halo when you're putting it on and use plenty of glue because it is kind of a weak spot. So I got these ostrich feathers on Amazon. They're a little under $20 for 10 of them. And here I'm just sorting them out to size for length. They're all about the same, about 10 inches or so. But some of them are a little bit longer, so I, I use those on the bottom part of the wing. And you try to, they do have a grain, I guess, or a bend to them. So you'll want to sort them out according to that so you can put them on the right set of wings so it looks more natural. Then once you have them all sorted, do a rough layout of it first so you make sure you have the right coverage and then you can take them off in the order that they go back on so it makes it a lot easier for you. And first of all, you'll want to glue the bottom part of the feather first and then just add a little dab on the top to put the feather on the other part of the wing. You don't want to use too much on these because then your feathers will get all gummy. You don't want that 
these really add a nice touch because they flow so nice. Plus the light really shines through nicely on these feathers. Now they may not be as that durable outside and if you wanted more durability you're going to hang it outside. Maybe you'll want to use a goose feather if you can. But these ones just have such a beautiful flow and a glow to them. They're just incredible little pieces of decoration. And to cover the stems of the feathers we use this Dollar Tree snowflake with a rhinestone in the middle. And I put the snowflake on there just to give it a really nice finish. Now you could use anything else if you had some florals or something, but I just wanted to keep this in the white theme. Now you can pick up these ribboned mirrors at your local dollar store and you'll just want to cut them so you get nice strips and then do a rough layout at the, on the skirt or the robe. So we just put these mirrored ribbons on here to add a little more dimension to the robe. And you can do them in different sizes to give more of a radiant look, rays, different rays of light coming. And this video really does not do this justice. Neither do the photos we have. Just we can't get the right lighting or the right thing for taking photographs. But when you make this, you will see how absolutely wonderful and glamorous this project really is. It just shines so nice. You'll really enjoy this project. Then once you have a layout that you really enjoy, just put glue on the backs and push them down into place. So to make the hanger, you'll take a zip tie and put that through the middle of the wings. Then you'll take another zip tie and put it in inside of that one. And then you'll take another zip tie and put it through that one. And on the very top one, that third one, you'll want to loop that through the head so it comes out through the mesh. Once you're through the mesh, you'll wrap it around the outside of the hoop and that'll be your hanger, nice and secure. I really do hope that you give this a try because these videos and these pictures really do not do this justice. It is really so pretty and glamorous. But I do thank you for coming and uh, crafting with me today. Like I say, I really do hope that you give it a try because it's a really stunning piece. Uh, and hopefully, we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.